Excellent. Thank you. Well, if it isn't the spin-off Mortal Kombat game from 2005. Shaolin Monks, aka the heroic births of Liu Kang and Kung Lao. It's a retelling of the events of Mortal Kombat 2 from 1993, and allegedly it's not canon to the real timeline. There's also no arcade ladder, so we're just looking at an action-packed, story-driven adventure. And with that being said, let's just see what happened in that grand old adventure. And for this, I'll be using Kung Lao, because he's been disrespectfully killed so many times. And he has a hat. The first Mortal Kombat tournament is in full effect. Shang Tsung doesn't like how it's going for his side, so he hops in the pool to make a splash. Shang Tsung. He hits Liu Kang with the soul steal, but look at this. It's Kung Lao in disguise. Kung Lao. Things seem in favor of Earthrealm until Goro comes out of the woodwork to get busy. And as the island begins to crumble, Shang creates a portal to Outworld, giving all his evil assassins an escape from death. But unfortunately, Liu Kang and Kung Lao fall into Goro's lair. And even though Earthrealm won, Shang Tsung is a poor loser, and we must get to the Wuxi Academy before the whole island collapses. So our escape begins in Goro's lair, a place that's not a sight for sore eyes. With little onis on my case like a four digit combination lock. They're a tough meal to chew, but thanks to Raiden's tips, I was able to chop them up like chives on a baked potato. You would have thought I graduated the way I threw my hat, and from my classic tornado spins all the way down to my head splitting fatalities, one could say I was on a roll. Now as we advance to the outdoor area, I notice Santa is watching over me. No presence, only wisdom. Now let us pray. Dear Santa, please deliver me the gift of strength to defeat the Oni Warlord. What's unique about this standalone Mortal Kombat game is that every fight is in a free roam format. This means every ability I upgrade will play a vital role in my combat success. And after using those abilities to defeat the enemy, I was able to reach a portal to the Wuxi Academy. Comment down below if you're a portal. So the real story begins with a brief history lesson. After a brutal conquest to claim the throne of Outworld, the power-hungry Shao Kahn turned his sights on Earth. But due to the Elder God's intervention, he can only claim Earthrealm with a victory in mortal combat. And as of right now, Earthrealm is victorious. So Raiden is holding a medal ceremony at the peaceful Wuxi Academy. You have ensured peace for Earth once again this day. Liu Kang, Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao. For the moment, you have earned rest. Enjoy the peace walking these grounds, he says. <laughs> That's when Barack and the Tarkatans launch a fiery attack on the Academy. Defend the Academy! Wu Shi Academy. Oh god, they're using our innocent monks as artillery. These bloodthirsty mongrels have infested the jungle, and it's up to me to stop their treachery. But the odds were heavily stacked against me, so in order to succeed, I was gonna have to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Fatality. These jokes are written themselves. I like this guy, he's nice. But that was only half the battle. <laughs> They've also taken siege of the school grounds. So as a scholar myself, I thought I'd teach him a lesson. <laughs> and with the help of Johnny Cage, I was able to fend off the Tarkatans, put out the fires, and save the academy. Barring an uncountable amount of dead monks, as well as Baraka capturing Sonya Blade and taking her as a prisoner of Outworld. Not to mention, while we were engaged in battle, Shang Tsung rolled up on Raiden. <laughs> and unfortunately, we do not know who won that fight. Well, we go back to the jungle and it appears Shang didn't lose, and maybe taking the form of Raiden, who will now guide us on our heroic journey. Do you trust me? Saying we must take the battle to Outworld if we wish to save Earth. Take the portal to Outworld. I believe something shifty is going on here. The Outworld portals. From the Outworld portals, we can reach any area needed. With the only caveat being, Raiden is much weaker here. Your magics are too limited enough. That is correct, Kung Lao. He can't help us fight, but he can guide us on our journey. With the first stop being the Evil Monastery, rumored to be the home of an ally. Come, mortals! Come face the princess of Outworld and die! She doesn't really roll out the welcome wagon, I can tell you that much. Her name is Kitana. 
Katana? Katana is an ally who may or may not have been corrupted by the evil that flows throughout Outworld. Keep in mind, this used to be a magical place of peace and beauty. A stark contrast to what we see inside the monastery. <laughs> where demons are pouring in like a hot cup of coffee. So I knew I had to cream it up. And not to sound dirty or anything, but these guys just wouldn't stop coming. So I had to hit him with my newly learned mortality. With one tornado spin, I can suck up the surrounding enemies like the last sip of your favorite smoothie. Talk about a spin-off video game. Try to keep up, mortal. So we continue chasing Katana up the monastery until we finally reach the top. Good googly moogly that thing is juicy. You're beautiful. I am Katana, the loyal daughter of Shao Kahn, the eternal emperor of- <laughs> She wouldn't stop talking, so I beat her up and threw her into a portal. <laughs> That's when Raiden pops in saying she's being controlled via holding spell. You must release her from the spell and set her free. So I head on through and with a slick knee grab backflip toss, I send her into the spell cleansing unit, a very convenient structure to have in this exact spot. But look out, Jade and Melina are in the area, looking to cause mass production of bad behavior. I was outnumbered in this fight, but unlike Prime Shack in the paint, I wasn't gonna back down. And just like that, I left Melina stunned and straight up killed Jade. <laughs> Seems a bit aggressive. Now, although Katana is free from the curse, she didn't like that I killed her best friend. She was my best friend and you killed her! But that's in the past. We are here to stop Shang Tsung from attacking Earth. Shang Tsung? Apparently it's not Shang Tsung who wants Earthrealm. Not Shang Tsung? It's her tyrant father, Shao Kahn. I blame Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn? It seems the plot has just gained a few pounds. Where's Reptile? And after mentioning the name Reptile, Melina gets sturdy and escapes back to the portals, with Katana chasing after her. There is more to this than we know. Raiden would tell us if there was. Why wouldn't Raiden tell us about Shao Kahn? Then he pops in and we're like, yo, Who's Shao Kahn? He is not to be concerned with. Says we need to focus on killing Shang Tsung's assassins. That's the only way to weaken him. It is the only way to save Earth. Something fishy is going on here. But we must keep pushing forward. Through the portals you will find more battles. More ways to weaken Shang Tsung. Where we immediately see the one Katana called Reptile escape into the living forest. I will defeat Reptile. You can watch. <laughs> to the living forest to kill Reptile. And it appears Johnny Cage is watching over us. Or is he? Living Forest. Do you see Reptile? No. We take our sweet selves to the famous Living Forest, home of big hungry trees with a hankering for rotting bodies. <laughs> and also some annoying trees that hold you for way too long. But hold that thought, because we're here for one thing and one thing only, to find Reptile's lair where our speed and accuracy are immediately put to the test. This was a tough minigame, but after studying the data, I was able to acquire the acquisition. Brutalities. Brutality. Now after that, we journey on through a path of clay soldiers, across the heavenly hot springs, and into Reptile's lavish lair. Where he summons a giant snake to stop me in my tracks. Cowabunga, says Reptile as he escapes into the floor. This reminds me of the Basilisk from Chamber of Secrets, except in this game, he just slithers around in circles until I destroy all the support columns. Which was our final step to reaching Reptile himself. Reptile. He's a rather crafty fella, combining his acid spit with invisibility to get the upper hand. But me and my hat weren't falling for that nonsense, so I made his life disappear. Strangled his ass, like the Tattletale Strangler. Now, it would have been a shame if he threw up into my mouth and dissolved my body like I was Crazy 8 in Jesse Pinkman's bathtub, but that wasn't the case at all. And my victory granted me a brand new reptilian wall climbing ability, allowing me to escape the lair. That's when Raiden pops in acting incredibly suspicious. You killed Reptile. This is very good. Why do you say that? You are feeding the soul tombs. This is all we hoped for. First he's happy about Reptile's death strengthening Shang Tsung's soul tombs. Then he's telling Liu Kang not to trust me. Kung 
allowed is becoming a liability to the tournament. I can trust only you. Followed by telling me to trust my ancestors. Sounds like an internal division strategy that only Shang Tsung could come up with. I don't like where this is going, but we must keep going. Back at the portals, Raiden reiterates that same point. If someone dies in Outworld, their soul gets sucked into the soul tombs, strengthening Shang Tsung ever more. How do we fight that? But this time he instructs us to infiltrate the soul compound and destroy it. Go and destroy this soul tomb and Shang Tsung will begin to lose his power. Now, I assume my objective is to reach this glowing green area down below, but it won't be a walk in the park. There's Tarkatan warriors looking to spill me like a baby's cup of orange juice. <laughs> Along with booby traps beyond the eye can see. Test your might. And don't even get me started on the Orochi Hell Beast. Oh boy, he's operating on levels of heat that would rival the center of a hot pocket. But he was no match for my wild hat. I had him wishing I was wearing a beanie. Now here's where things get real shifty. After slicing through these two sad souls, God rest him, we enter Shang Tsung's soul chamber. And he's in here. <laughs> transforming into his younger form to start beating the shit out of us. Your souls aren't even worthy additions to my power. Then he leaves, relying on his two wizard lackeys to kill me. So I killed them. And destroyed the soul chamber in epic fashion. But that was just the appetizer. As we head back to the main area, Baraka's in there firing up the grills. Rev up those fryers, he says, as he tosses a hot monk at me. Baraka. This is one of the more complex fights considering the amount of stages you go through. First he keeps it simple, a classic tussle. But that's too easy. He then uses innocent monks as mobile fire hazards. The oldest trick in the book. And you thought that was a layup. Now he's shooting from deep. But unfortunately, I don't know how to complete this joke. And to top it off, I threw a sword in his face. Finish him. Fatality. Now, it would have been a shame if he stabbed me in my right shoulder, then my left shoulder, grabbed me by the throat and threw me into the fire. That would have been a doozy, but it didn't happen. I wish Raiden would warn us. Then Raiden pops in looking all weird. We have done just as you suggested, Master Raiden. I see. I don't even know what that was. Let's leave! Back at the portals, Melina causes a quick ruckus. <laughs> then escapes into the wasteland to get help from Goro. Get help to do what? To kill me, you idiot! Then we have to stop Melina before that can happen. So it looks like we're getting Goro. This is where we run into Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. I have learned to call everyone enemy. It appears he's not very trustworthy of anyone here, so we fight. <laughs> and right before I finish him, Liu Kang steps in to stop me. Why did you do that? Sub-Zero is dead. It turns out the bad Sub-Zero was killed by Scorpion in the tournament. The man you saw die was my brother. So the good Sub-Zero is here to avenge him. He also knows where Goro is and how to get there. So he lends a helping hand by fixing an old boat that we can use to cross the Bloody Seas. The Bloody Seas sounds like a dirty term on Urban Dictionary. I can't thank Sub-Zero enough. He's always such a helpful guy, using his freeze hands to open up large doors, and also to reach areas that I couldn't have dreamed of reaching. But all good things must come to an end, as his arch nemesis Scorpion shows up and leads him into the nether realm. Scorpion. It would have been nice to hold hands and fight Goro together, but no time for fantasy. Goro. Him and his arms were ready to beat me like eggs at a continental breakfast. <laughs> And now he's picking up a piece of wood. One could say he's quite lumbering. Pretty scary, but I saw right through that piece of wood. Johnny Cage. Hey, it's a cameo fatality, just like the new game. But Liu Kang wanted it for himself. I am the Mortal Kombat champion. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was confused until Johnny revealed it was Shang Tsung, all while the real Liu Kang was just 10 feet away. I tried to warn you, and then I realized if someone could look like me, he could look like either of you two as well. With that kind of shape-shifting, it's getting harder and harder to trust anyone here. Raiden. Then Raiden pops in to get us back on track, sending Johnny off on his own mission, and Liu Kang and I to the Nether Realm to defeat Scorpion. You will find this key to Shang Tsung's defeat in the Nether Realm. The Nether Realm, a certified hood classic. classic. Where Raiden says we're only able to be here because our souls are tainted. But he shouldn't be able to use magic down here, so he's even more suspicious. Anyways, we begin the descent into hell and run into the dark ninja Noob Cybot and Sub Zero. <laughs> who won't allow us to fight him because he believes it's his dead brother, which it is. I think he is my brother. And he's adamant on saving his soul no matter how long it takes, meaning he put killing Scorpion off to the side, leaving him for us. And speaking of Scorpion, where is he? No, oh, he's right here. Scorpion. And like Baraka, Scorpion uses a multitude of battle strategies, so I'm gonna have to just spam the same moves I've been doing the entire time. And as I begin to get the upper hand, he flings himself to higher elevation, telling me to GET OVER HERE! Why don't you get over here, you f uh, nah. You thought, I said as I choked him out with his own weapon and tossed him into the depths of hell? Which is his primary domain? So he comes back as Inferno Scorpion to spice things up a bit. But I wasn't having it, so this time I made sure he had no chance to come back. Looks like he enjoyed that. Fair trade. After sending him packing to the depths of the depths of hell, we head back to the portals, where Raiden says I now have all I need in order to defeat Shang Tsung. That would be the five medallions I collected from killing everyone else. There is a door that will lead you to the foundry. You must find it to defeat Shang Tsung. Or Shao Kahn. I'm still not entirely sure. Let's find out. Inside the foundry, I noticed this. I like this. I also found Jax. It's you, Kung Lao. He's looking to save Sonya Blade and said that Raiden's been guiding him the whole time. Raiden? That was probably Shang Tsung the whole time. But the whole point of this place is to retrieve a special forged weapon to destroy the two crystals standing in the way of Shao Kahn's fortress. Wow. What an entrance this is. I am concerned about Raiden, Liu Kang. I am not certain we can trust him. Raiden was right. At the top, Liu Kang becomes stupid and attacks me. <laughs> then the real Raiden comes in for the big reveal. Shang Tsung has deluded you. He has been tricking you into feeding him soul after soul. We were being played this whole time. Ah. What the hell was that? Shang Tsung? You insult me, Flea. It's Shao Kahn, the big bad ruler of Outworld. He says, follow me if you want to kill Shang Tsung. Follow me if you want to die at my hands. Your master is here. Now inside the ring, our trusted master Raiden pops in and starts attacking us. He is possessed. Wait, it's been Shang Tsung this whole time. Everything we did was helping him grow stronger. I never would have expected this twist. We destroyed your soul tubes. You should not be this strong. Is that what your master Raiden told you to do? <laughs> Shang Tsung. Fight! And Shang is doing Shang things. Shifting so many times, one would think he loved to type in capital letters. <laughs> And for pretty much being the boogeyman of this game, he was the weakest out of anyone I've fought so far. So I snapped his neck, something that happens to Kung Lao one too many times. And it turns out Shang Tsung was just a little bitch. Now, what am I to do with you? Then the crowd starts chanting for Kintaro. My people have spoken! So Shao sends in the big bad Kintaro to pull me apart like pull apart pizza bread. He's like an advanced Goro, with hair. So many arms, but little heart this guy has. It was shameful. And although he was holding no weapons, I felt it necessary to disarm him. Some nasty business. Our friends! Where are our friends? Defeat me and they will be freed. This leaves one last thing to do. Defeat Shao Kahn and save my friends. It's about time. 
And we all know how strong this man can be. With his shoulder charge, charging me like my free trial just ended. And one mustn't forget his mighty hammer. Ugly ass. Now he's pissed. And now he's spinning around relentlessly, like my neighbor when I threw him in the dryer for a light cycle. And slamming his hammer down, like grandpa's rotary phone after being fired from the factory. But he can't forget that I have a hat. And just like a hat, I'm always on top of things. Finish him! We've done it. Our friends are saved and Earthrealm is finally at peace. You fought bravely, Liu Kang. She's hot. And in this universe, Mortal Kombat would kind of be over considering all the bad guys are dead. Or are they? <laughs> I actually drew a picture of Quan Chi with colored pencils in high school. It's got some wear and tear due to long years, but I like it. And that's the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, why don't you drop a like down below? Maybe even a comment. Better yet, check out one of these two Mortal Kombat videos I have right here. And most importantly, I want to give a huge thank you to my beautiful, marvelous, majestic patrons that are scrolling up right behind me. The fact that you guys support me means the world and I can't thank you enough. I've also just partnered with Gamersups. Use code EvanH2 at checkout for 10% off some clean, delicious energy. But only if you want to. Anyways, love you guys. See you in the next one.